Hi there, my name is Toby and on this video I want to talk about the connection between martial arts and dance. You see, dance is overlooked a lot by martial artists, but there are some very famous and serious fighters that did dancing. Bruce Lee is perhaps the most famous, did ballroom dancing, but there are many others. And, and the reason dance is so good is it gives you a chance to practice your internal feeling. You've got to hold your structure, you've got to hold your positioning, and that's very difficult to do when you're sparring or fighting because, you, of course, you're distracted by your opponent. But you do need sparring, of course, you need combat to be a fighter. You see, it boils down to two things. You need combat tactics, the ability to know how to respond and techniques to, to use against an opponent, and practice of timing, etc., etc., and force, real-life scenarios. But you also need body dynamics, movement, flow, structure, and that's where dance comes in. Now, traditional martial arts, you could say, is dance. They're, they're practicing preset forms, kata, and these are actually dances, really. They're not combat, they're movements, they're dance. But, of course, they're dance with a purpose. They're training exercises, training sets of movements. But what you're really trying to do when you do these martial dances is practice your internal structure. So what I'm doing here, moving about with this freestyle Tai Chi or fighting, whatever it is, is I'm trying to hold a neutral spine, hold neutral hips and shoulders and move very efficiently. I'm trying to use my whole body structure, moving from the structure, stretching through the structure and bouncing through it. So this provides very efficient energy. It allows movement and it allows power with less and less effort. So I hope this made sense. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in any of these other videos here.